Hello everyone, Sir Yama here. Good seeing you. Thanks for stopping by the channel. This will be an unboxing video of the Marvel Avengers Age of Ultron, Ultron Prime, MMS 284, side show number 902343, made in China by Hot Toys. I got this for Big Bad Toy Store. You can get one also. Just click the link below. All right, we have a great looking package here. Really big. Uh, normal boxes are about this tall and this one is much taller. The A is textured as we've seen in, in the other Avengers Age of Ultron boxes. This is a foil that you can feel the words on this too. It says Marvel Avengers Age of Ultron, Hot Toys, Movie Masterpiece Series. On this side of the box, we have his little face that is also in foil. Continuation of the figure. And uh, I'm going to say that that's a, an image of the figure from the movie and not the, not the actual figure. On this side of the box says Ultron Prime, MMS 284, one six scale collectible figure. We have the um, hand coming around from the back. The, on the A on the back, it is not textured. It's only textured on the front of the box. So the continuation of the character. The bottom says Ultron Prime, MMS 284, one six scale collectible figure. Choking hazard, adult collectible, for ages 15 and up, not for children under five. On the top of the box, it says Ultron Prime, MMS 284. On the bottom of the box, it says Marvel Avengers Age of Ultron. It's a sleeve style box, so we'll just slide it up like that. And we get to see the figure in his shadow box form. So let's get him out of the box here. On the side of the box, we get the same thing we have on the outside box. And on the back of the box, we have the names of the people who are responsible for this figure. He's a big piece. I am quite impressed with him. He really looks good. And he stands up well on his own. Let's see what all we have in the box here. Right, so we have a, a light up stand and a nice tall articulated posing stand with the lobster claw and batteries and a instruction manual there's ultron prime okay so it says that the waist cannot be extended so don't try to pull that otherwise the figure may get damaged don't raise the arms to the sides over 45 degrees careful when turning the head otherwise the neck armor may be damaged careful when turning the upper body otherwise the armor parts may collide and need to paint fading or damage and be careful when turning the upper body, otherwise the armor parts may collide and lead to paint painting or damage. A whole lot of warnings on this guy. And don't mix old and new batteries. So the top of the head pops off for the batteries. And a little switch inside of there. It says that uh, the head can only be moved a little bit. It says the jaw goes up and down. So it says to be careful. You, know, you only got 20 degree movement for the head side to side. And it says don't take the head off, otherwise the figure will be damaged. And the neck can only be slightly rotated as shown. And here it shows that the LED light up arms and movement. So the, the lights are inside the biceps, not in the hands. You can do a 45 degree outward movement and that the shoulder comes in and out. The uh, chest arc reactor, actually the whole chest starts up. There's no arc reactor, the whole chest lights up. And the uh, switches on the back where we see on the Iron Man figures and that the chest can be rotated forward and the legs can be pulled down for a greater articulation there. There's a little piece here that uh, can slide in and out of the way for moving his arms and whatnot, as well as his legs. And that the base is a light up with three AAA batteries. Excuse me. And the base is light up with three AA batteries. Well, it shows AAA in the picture and AA shows AAA here. I can see that. And that shows AA. So I guess we'll have to see when we get it open. And here we have Ultron Prime out of the package and he is a big figure. He's really tall and really intricately designed. They really did a good job in regards to putting together such a piece like this. Now, is he perfect? No, he's not perfect in any way, but man, what a great looking figure. He, uh, the detail that they've done to this is, it's just really, it's amazing. The only thing I really don't like, there's something wrong with his eyes. I don't know if they didn't open them far enough or what it is, but I don't like how they did his eyes. Now, his mouth will move up and down. So you actually have like a few poses there you can do with the mouth. You can open it all the way or you can push it where it's closed up almost all the way. It doesn't really close all the way. The little teeth are in there. 
and you can pull it down a little more to show a little more teeth. So you could move his mouth for filming so you can have different talks. It's this whole jaw there that opens up right there. Now his, his also, his head doesn't move much. They really restricted that. And that's because of this piece back here that's all in here. And this is like a soft rubber or soft plastic that enables him to move. And if you turn it too far, it'll pop out of the head right there. Uh, the little neck here moves as well. So you have this movement here to try to give him some more pivot range. But the furthest you can have him look over his shoulder is about that much right there. So you can get pretty close to him, you know, looking over his shoulder, which is a scene they use for the posters and, and whatnot. But that's about it. So that's forward and that's it. So they tell you not to remove the, the head. If you if you turn it a little more, all right, the head will pop off. Okay. And then you can get just a little bit more of a turn. But you want to be careful with these pieces back here because see, as soon as you take that head off, that pops out right there, which can be a problem, especially when you put it back on. You want to make sure you get that under there where it belongs in order to put the head back onto the neck where it's supposed to be. So there's lots of pieces that move on him to enable him to be articulated and to move about. They uh, flip out of the way and move back and forth in order for you to be able to do that. Like right here, this little neck piece here moves as well. Let's pop this head off again. This little neck piece moves off here, which if you wanted to try to put him into a flight pose, again, you're gonna have to pop that, that head off in order to be able to do that. Uh, the neck will go up about that far and it seems to stop because of this piece right in here. So you push the neck up, you can get the neck up further with it actually disconnected from the head, disconnected from the neck, but you really can't get a good flight pose. Uh, you can't get him looking up like that because of this piece here. I don't know. I don't know how they could have done that better. Maybe if they had attached it only to the head and then just kind of tucked it under here, maybe that would have been different. I don't know. It's hard to say. They really did a good job in the design of Ultron Prime. I remember Ultron Prime is not Ultron Ultimate. Ultron Ultimate, his head is all smooth he's he doesn't have all of the uh, the etchings in it so see if we can get this back on here there we go so it doesn't have all the the etchings that we see here in ultron prime uh, ultron ultimate his his face is all smooth and, and there's more pieces on him he's not he doesn't have an open skeleton it's it's filled in there so inside here you can see this giant red piece of plastic all these little red pieces here they light up so you have batteries for the his chest battery for his arms and a battery for his head the arm batteries that go in here when you pull this off I just put my little fingernail in here and just pull this off like this to get it out it wants to get caught on this shoulder piece here so I find I have to pull it all the way around past that shoulder piece to be able to get this piece out of here to put the batteries in. And then that's where your on off switch is. So we'll just slide that on right here. And then I find one way to get it on is to either have it out like that or all the way in like this and then get it in by holding it in kind of blindly I feel with it in sideways like that and there we go we got that on so it only really comes on and off with the arm in that position so the same thing over here so then for his chest you're going to want to pull this piece up right here Yep. 
they give you a little screwdriver to get to that. And so the batteries go in here and then you just slide this over to turn him on and lit up. He really looks great. Let me turn the, uh, the lights off here. So you can see how lit up he is inside of there. And putting these batteries on weren't necessarily, or wasn't as bad as some of the Iron Man figures are to install the batteries. But again, it's still work to get those batteries in. At night, he really lights up really well. And here you can see him lit up without any of the other lights on. You can see he's really bright and lit up well. All right, so articulations on this piece. So his arms, that's about as straight as his arms go. They really don't straighten out. You can't uh, make it any more straight than that. And it bends up right there. It's actually a double joint. You have two joints in there. You have the joint here, which bends like that much. And then you have the second joint, which kicks in to bend it up more. Oh, it's actually triple jointed. So you have one joint here, you have a second joint here, and then the third joint here. So there's three joints in there. One, two, three. One, right there. Two, right here. And then the third one right there. Three joints in the arms. And believe it or not, this battery literally went dead uh, during the setup. That's a dead battery right now. The hands can twist and they're articulated. The fingers are with the three articulations. Got a little bitty one on some of the fingers like this one. So this finger has three articulations on it right there. One, two, three. This one also has three. This one, I think it has three, but I can't get that last little finger to bend. It looks like it should, and I'm sure it does. It's just not bending. There it goes. And then this one as well has the three. And the thumb has two. So we're back to the two articulations on the thumb for this hand. So the hands aren't lit up, just the, uh, the forearm and the bicep is lit up. Now, Ultron flew back here. The little flame came out of this part, and it came out down around his legs here. I believe down around here is where the flames came out as well as he flew. His legs, his knees are, you have a joint there, and you have a joint there. So it's double jointed, which gives you the 90 degree there. And his little toes, or his little feet, they go forward and back, but there's no side to side. It's not a ball per se, or at least I can't get mine to move side by side. They only go forward and back. His toes have an articulation right here. So you can move that forward and back. It's not double jointed. They gave him a nice high arch and you can see where there would be like, I guess a thruster on the bottom of his foot. And that's where the little copyright is right there on the bottom of that, that foot there little heel moves up out of the way up and down right there and his legs they can pull down to give your hip articulation i mean there's many positions here two three so it's three two three this slides down right here so that when you bring him up it pushes this piece out of the way and enables you to get a higher positioning for his legs. So you can get his legs almost uh, at a 90 degree, not quite. And so then that put that piece back down. And then you can go back, same 
about a 90 degree there. And you know these all these little pieces they wiggle about and they move to enable him to get his movement here, which ratchets into several places. So you have a bend here and a bend down here. So he bends here with one little ratchet, excuse me, two little ratchets. And then down here he has one, two, three, four little ratchets there. To enable him to move around. His hip, or excuse me, his bicep moves, goes in and out, and that moves. This little piece here flops in and out, little movement, and that's the artic that's the articulations for him uh, as such. I'm afraid to turn him on. Last time I turned him on, he uh, he came to life, and I don't know when I turned him off if he actually went off or not. Um, so we'll just set him aside right now. I like the Avengers logo for his base. I remember this started off as it said Stark Tower originally, and in the the Battle from New York, uh, the Stark Tower kind of got destroyed, and all that was left was the A, and it got turned into the Avengers logo. Now it doesn't have all of these little Ultron pieces in it. The Avengers logo doesn't on uh, the side of the Avengers Tower or Stark Tower, whatever you want to call it. So it's pretty cool. They integrated that. It runs off of three AAA batteries, and just turn that on right here, and it lights up really nicely. I'll show you that. Uh, Turn off a couple of these lights. And it really glows really nicely. I like that. This uh, uh, is really cool. Even if you didn't use it as a base, just to use it hanging on the wall would be great to do, in, in my opinion. You're wondering why you can't look inside my head. Sometimes it's hard. But sooner or later, every man shows himself. Oh, I'm sure they do. But you needed something more than a man. Everyone creates the thing they dread. Men of peace create engines of war. Invaders create Avengers. People create uh, smaller people. Uh, children. <laughs> Lost the word there. Children designed to supplant them, to help them end. But I always say, keep your friends rich and your enemies rich, and wait to find out which is which. Tony Stark says that you're one of his. What? I am not. I'm not. You think I'm one of Stark's puppets? His hollow men? I mean, look at me. Do I look like Iron Man? Stark is not. Oops. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sure he's going to be okay. Petrov. Petrov. I'm sorry. I just don't understand. Don't compare me with Stark. He's a sickness. Oh, Junior, you're going to break your old man's heart. Pew. Ah. Thor, you're bothering me. You think you're saving anyone? I am Thor, son of Odin. As long as there is life in my breast, uh, I'm running out of things to say. Are you ready? It's terribly well balanced. Well, if there's too much weight, you lose power on the swing. My vision, it really did take everything from me. I have strings, so I have fun. I'm not tied up to anyone. Ah, oh, for God's sake. We can still find a better way to achieve peace. I can't actually throw up in my mouth, but if I could, I would do it. You can't save them all. If you stay here, You'll die. I just did. Do you know how it felt? It felt like that. Uh, what was that Ultron you were saying? You didn't finish. So thanks for watching everyone. Leave your comments in the section below. Tell me what you think of this figure. Have you picked them up already? Will you be picking them up? Follow me on Facebook at Siri.Emerald. Twitter at Siri.Emerald. Follow me on Pinterest and Instagram. Subscribe to me on Patreon. Every little bit helps. If you like this video, click the thumbs up. You'll find that right below my channel on the lower right hand side. It really helps out a lot. Share this video with your friends. That helps out as well. To be notified whenever I make a new video, 
you're going to want to click the subscribe button. You'll find that by clicking on the icon here and following it to my channel. And to see more videos by me, you'll find those available on the right hand side here. Thanks again for watching everyone. See you on the next video. Happy collecting.